hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time you're welcome and thank you guys for subscribing to my channel i really really appreciate it so in today's tutorial i'll be making a granny stitch beanie like a baby beanie actually i want to give it to my neighbor that just gave it to I just thought of doing uh, something simple and yet quick, right? So I'll be making use of granny stitch to complete um, this project, actually. I'll be making use of my 4mm crochet hook. And also, this is an acrylic yarn and this is a cotton yarn. So I'll just be mixing the two together. I've not tried it before, but I'll just give it a try. Then I know it's going to come out fine, but let's just give it a try. So let's get straight. I'll be making use of uh, the big basic stitches that the half double crochet, the single crochet, and also I'll be using uh, half double crochet, double crochet, and single crochet, right? So if you want to learn how to make uh, the basic stitches, I have, a, I have a tutorial on my channel. So I'll put the link in the description for you to go and check it out. And also to make um, granny stitch, I have a tutorial for granny square. So you can also check that out. I'll be adding uh, the tutorial to my description link below. So let's get I'm going to be doing a magic circle. So here I have my magic circle and I'm going to chain one to secure it. Yeah, so right there I have it and I'm going to just chain one again. And this does not count as my first stitch, right? So into the string, I'll be doing a uh, 10 half double crochet. So, then over, pull through, pull through, three, right? So I'll be making 10 half double crochet. So right here, I have my 10 half double crochet and I'm just going to pull through, pull my tail tight. So there, you can see. Then I'm going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet I made earlier, right here. And I'm going to pull through. So for round two, I'll be making 20 half double crochet in total, meaning I'll be putting two half double crochet into every of the stitch here. So I'm going to chain one and right into the space here, I'll be putting two double crochet, two half double crochet, sorry, two half double crochet all the way around two you can make sure you count your stitches just to be double sure so you don't miss out the half double crochet right so you can see then on top of the first stitch here we made I'll be putting my slip stitch I'm going to slip stitch on top of the first stitch the very first stitch half double crochet right here so Uh, 
so round two is completed and uh, for round three I'm going to do one half double crochet here then two half double crochet into the next so I'm going to chain one doesn't count as my first stitch so I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to insert one half double crochet right into the space Then into the nest, I'm going to be placing two half double crochet. So, to the nest, I'm going to be placing two half double crochet. So, right here, we are making uh, our increase. So, I'm going to be repeating this all the way around. So, into the nest, one half double crochet, and into the nest, two half double crochet right so come to the end of round three so to hang this round now I'm going to be making two half double crochet and two half double crochet into the next right so if you count you should be having 10 increases all the way around so if you count we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so to finish off round three i'm going to make a slip stitch into the first half double crochet here. so now we are done with round three i'm going to chain one so for round four i'll be making this round is going to be a bit different i'll be putting five double crochet into every st stitch then into the sixth stitch i'm going to put two double crochet right so this uh, beanie is actually for uh a zero to three months so father is just uh, a baby so i'll be doing zero to three months so for other sizes I'll put how to achieve it in the description or I could just make a tutorial on it if you want so we made one two three four this is the fifth one then into the sixth one I'm going to put two double crochet right so I'm going to repeat what I just did now five double crochet one, two, three, four, and five. And into the next, I'm going to put a two double crochet. Two half double crochet, sorry. I'm just saying double crochet. So I'm going to repeat all the way around and I'll, and I'll meet you back at the end of the space. So right now I'm at the end of round four and two half double crochet here. And on top of the first half double crochet, I'm going to make a slip stitch. So this is what our round four looks like. I'm going to chain one and for round five I'll be making six half double crochet right so let's go one two three four five six 
and into the nest i'm going to place two half double crochet right so i'm going to repeat six half double crochet and into the seventh stitch i'll be putting two half double crochet so let's go one two three four five and six i'll put two so you can count from here one two three four five six into the seventh you put two after crochet. so i'm going to repeat all the way for round six and i'll meet you for round five sorry and i'll meet you back at um the end to show you how to finish off so right now i'm at the end of round five and you can see so here yeah, you're going to see that you should have seven stitches remaining so if you count one two three four five six and seven and i'm just going to do seven half double crochet all through no increase just seven half double crochet right so then i'm going to slip stitch on top of the first half double crochet And for round six, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to make one half double crochet all the way around. If you have 39 half double crochet all through, so I'm going to put one half double crochet here. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just do one half double crochet all the way and make sure it is 39. Once I get to the beginning of this place, like to the end, we're going to count together. So right now I've come to the end of round six. So let's count together. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39, right? So, I'm just going to slip stitch. Slip stitch, pull through. And there, we've come to the end of round 6. So, for round 7, we're going to start our granny stitch so i chained one then i'm going to add another chain one so you chain two it counts as my first double crochet right and i'm going to be placing two double crochet into the same space so so we have three double crochet there then I'm going to skip two and into the third one I will making three double crochet two three and I'm going to skip two and into the next I'm going to put another three double crochet
So you be doing this all the way around for the round of seven, right? So I'll meet you back at the end of this round. So right now I've come to the end of round seven and you can see I have two stitches left. So I'm going to skip that and I'll be making a slip stitch right here on top of the chain two that I made, okay? So you can see, and I'm going to chain two and for round eight, oh sorry, for round eight, I'm going to uh, slip stitch two stitches forward. That means I'm going to slip stitch here, one, and into the space, I'm going to make another slip stitch. And I'll be starting right here, right? So I'm going to chain two, and into the same space, I'm going to do uh, a double crochet, right? You can see. So I'm going to skip two, one, two, and into the next, I'm going to make a three, Double crochet. So you can see. So two and three. So I'm going to skip two and into the third one make three double crochet. So I'm going to be doing this all the way for round eight and I'll meet you back at the end of round eight. So right now I'm at the end of round eight and as you can see we are back at um, where we did our slip stitch, right? So I'm going to be skipping those two, those two stitches we slipped on. I'm going to skip that and on top of the chain two, I'm going to make a slip stitch. And I'm going to repeat round eight for round nine. So I'm going to make two slip stitch forward. Right, so I'm going to make a chain two. This counts as my first double crochet. I'm going to put two more right there. So I'm going to skip two and into this next space here. I'm going to put three double crochet. So I'm going to repeat this all the way for round nine and I'll meet you back at the end of round nine. So right now I've come to the end of round nine. Okay. And I'm going to just slip stitch right on top of the first double crochet there. And for round 10, I'll be doing uh, one half double crochet all the way around so i'm just going to chain one and into the space i'm going to make a half double crochet mm -hmm. right and into the next one right here i'll make another half double crochet 
So I'm going to do that all the way around for the round of 10. Right? So I'll meet you back at the end of round 10. I didn't cover this part um, in the video due to there was um, background noise. But what I did here was um, back post double crochet, back and front post double crochet to achieve um, this ribbon. So I'm at the end of round 13. One, two, and three. So I'm just going to slip stitch. So you can do any ribbon of your choice, right? So this is what my beanie looks like. Uh, it's actually cute. Before, I was thinking it's going to be very small. So I had to go and bring out one of my baby's hats just to measure it up, right? So... When I did it this way, you can see it's just exact same thing. So they added um a little this thing here for turnover. So if you wear it on their head, you can have a turnover like this. So I tried to replicate that by doing a ribbon instead. So I can just turn this over this way, right? And you have this cute little ribbon here right so as they grow you can decide not to fold it over right so it should just be there and i've come to the end of uh this is my cute beanie so you can just weave this in or just tuck it in in this way So, uh, if you find this tutorial helpful, you can give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Crochet by underscore Jenny. You can click on the subscribe button below to subscribe for more beautiful content, right? Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.